What's happening guys? Safety Liner C2 here. Lots of lots and I'm just going to show off one today that was submitted by Chief quite a while back. But I've been wanting to cover this lot for quite a while. I think since I started this series I knew that I was going to eventually do this lot. So I'm really excited. There's a lot of really interesting buses in this lot. Some things that just don't fit. Some things that are a little bit weird. But there's a lot of great finds in here. Let's go ahead and dive into it. We'll break the lot down and take a look at one side at a time. We are just outside of Fort Worth in Mansfield, Texas, December 2023. Starting us off, we have two Amtran 3800s. There's a second gen CE in the background, a Collins Ford, and a handicapped first gen CE. Then we have a Thomas FS65 right next to a Transtech Chevy HD, which, uh, that's just the beginning. We can see another CE next to an ICRE. There's a couple of Activity T3REs. There's another ICRE, a Bluebird Microbird T Series, and a HDX in the background. Then moving to December 2021, we can see a handful of visions. There's some type of midbus right here, a Collins presumably Ford, and some more of these Transtech Chevys. And then next to that, we have some more second gen CEs, an Amtran 3800, yet again, more of these Transtech Chevys, and another second gen CE. Back in November 2018, we have some more Amtran 3800s and a first gen CE. We have an HDX, another Transtech, another HDX, an A3RE, and another Transtech, an FS65 next to yet another Transtech, and in November 2016 we can see our first view of one of the C2s. I'm rounding it out on this side, April 2013 we have three Amtran 3800s, there's a bunch of handicapped C2s, a whole row of these Transtechs which I think is the most that I've ever seen in one place, and of course even more Transtechs in the background. Taking a quick look at the other side in April 2023 we can see that there are three FS 65s, a first gen CE and a second gen CE. There's a better view of some of these activity T3 REs. And then we have another A3 RE. Notice that there's AC on this bus. We have a handful of IC REs. Notice that there's AC on this one. An Amtrain 3800, two HDXs, two Transtechs, a second gen CE, an IC RE, and a Collins. Back in November 2016, we can see a couple more A3 REs. Another Transtech. We have some more A3 REs. Notice that some of them have streamers on there. There's also some IC REs. And then we have a handful of Amtran or International somethings. There's a couple more IC REs up here. Two HDXs. Then we have a Collins. And this bus right here is kind of throwing me off. Because supposedly it's a mid bus. But the back of it doesn't really look like a mid bus to me. And I say that because of these three windows. They don't really line up with how mid buses were styled as far as I'm aware. But if we take a look at the other side, which we'll do in a minute, you can pretty clearly see that it's a mid bus in this same view. So if I'm wrong, let me know. I'm not the best with type A's, but it's, it's just kind of throwing me off, like I said. And finally, wrapping it up, December 2023, we have one of the Activity T3 REs next to a bunch of IC REs, an A3 RE, a second gen CE, and an HDX, presumably a Vision, a handicapped second gen CE, and a couple more Transtechs, two Amtran 3800s, both of them have jackknife doors and front wheelchair lifts. And also notice we have the route changer on the wheelchair door. I mean, I guess that makes the most sense as to where it should be, but I can't say that I've seen that before. April 2022, we have the Amtrain 3800 next to three FS65s, an ICRE in the background, and a better look at some of those Activity T3REs, an older HDX, and we can tell that by the round turn signals compared to the square ones on the rest of these. Then we have a bunch of ICREs, some more HDXs and second gen CEs, some more Microbird T series. September 2018, we can see another HDX and ICRE. There's also another older ICRE in the background. Then we have a Genesis, a ICRE, another Genesis, either a Amtrain International or early ICRE, and the same for this FE right here. November 2016, we have two HDXs, a second gen CE, 
and an A3RE. And here's a look at that bus that we were looking at earlier. You can pretty clearly tell that this is a mid-bus based off of the doors, the roof cap, and that's obviously a mid-bus logo. But one interesting thing to point out is that this bus has AC. In April 2016, we have some more of the Amtrain or International FEs with a Bluebird MB2 in front of them. July 2015, we have a second gen CE with some Genesi. March 2013, we can see that there are two more mid-bus Chevys, a couple more trans techs in the back background with some CEs and ICREs. And finally, May 2011, we can see that there are two C2s right outside the lot, an A3RE, some pretty early ICREs with a second gen CE in the background, some more ICREs and an HDX with a first gen CE right here. Then we have some more visions in the background, ICREs and an HDX, yet another A3RE. Then there are two Ward Senators and a bunch of Genesi, and last but not least, an ICRE and two more of those trans techs. So yeah, that lot is just all over the place. The variety is amazing. The specs on there are pretty nice. There's just a lot of buses that I wasn't expecting to see there, such as those trans techs or senators. Like I said, I've been wanting to do a video on that one for quite a while, and I always keep my eye on that lot just because they have so much random stuff and I like to see what they get going forward. But anyways, I'll wrap it up there. Don't forget that if you have something that you want to submit for lots of lots, bus stuff for sale, the picture videos, or any one of my videos, you can throw it in the video request form found in the description of any one of my videos. And with that, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical white button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down and care where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or something is going to happen to those trans techs. I'm just not sure yet. And make sure you also share this video with a friend. Show it to your mom. Show it to your dad. Show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. And thanks for watching.